Hi, welcome to Books Beauty Kendra. I'm Kendra and today I'm going to briefly talk about where I've been as well as a book haul because why not? I have so many books. Okay, but first, where have I been? It's been two months since I uploaded my last video, I think. And yeah, let's start at the beginning. Trigger warnings for death of a pet, but yes. I lost one of my dogs about almost two months ago. And I don't think I have properly worked through that just yet. She was about 17. Her name's Roxy. Well, it was Roxy. And. Yeah, she's not around anymore. Um, but we won't go on to that. Um, then, two weeks later, not even two weeks later, I went off to Europe for about three weeks, three and a half weeks. So I didn't film while I was there. And while I was there, my mental health went down. Like, really down that like worse than normal so I've been dealing with that ever since I've gotten back and that's basically why I haven't been here but that's it if that's all you wanted to hear about that's all now let's get on to the book haul okay so the first lot of books I'm going to do are the books I got while I was in Europe so I was in Scotland, London, Scotland, England, Spain. Not just London. We went around different parts of England this time, which was very nice. I liked it. But again, mental health really dropped while I was there. So here come books to the rescue. I don't know. Anyways, first... I got these two books at this really cute witchy store called Watkins Books or something like that. Yeah, Watkins Books. I got it right. But anyways, they are Treasury of Folklore, Seas and Rivers, Sirens, Selkies and Ghost Ships. That one. That's by Dee Dee Cheney and Willow Winsham. Then I got which one I've read already. Well, I've read since purchasing this. It's Everyday Magic Ritual Spells and Potions to Live Your Best Life by Semra Haxeva. Haxeva? Haxeva. I don't know. But basically, this is just spells for you every day. And just like what you need for them, how to do them. How to get like the basic ingredients, or make the basic ingredients for different spells. Yeah, it was a good time. I'll refer back to this one more in my life. Then I went to Daunt, well before that I went to Daunt Books. Which is a really beautiful, beautiful bookstore. And I found two really cool books. First one was this little thing, Sun, Moon and Earth by Robin Heath. Just about like the witchy meanings behind the sun, moon and earth. Then, we got North Myths and Legends, Viking Tales of Gods and Heroes by Martin Whittock and Hannah Whittock. I read North Myth Mythology by Neil Gaiman. And I want to read the one, the Gospel of Loki or whatever it's called by Joanne M. Harris. And I thought maybe I would like to read more of it. So that's why I got this one. Anyways, let's keep going, shall we? Then I found a business proposal volume two. Rotten, I've not read this copy yet, but I have read the whole thing on tapas. 
So technically, I've read this book, which makes two books already that I've read from this stack. Pretty good. Here comes a third, which is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This one kind of matches the pink one I got but ages ago. But yeah, look how pretty. Look at the white rabbit. So sweet. And yeah, it's got pictures. It's just another copy of Alice in Wonderland. Because that is my favourite book, I think, still. One of my favourite worlds, anyways. Then I found Middle Grade. This one was... This one and Alice were from Toppings in Edinburgh. Toppings and Company or whatever. This one's called Nura and the Immortal Palace by M.T. Khan. This one says, Beware the glittering world. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah. This one looked cute. I wanted to get it. I'm sad that it's kind of coming up on the edges though. Oh well. Living it learn. Then I got... Oh, I can't remember where I got these two books from. But I got them at this like fantasy bookstore. One of them is The Hobbits of Tolkien by David Day. Middle Earth. The whole Lord of the Rings Hobbit world. It's just my favourite place. Obviously without the war and stuff, but like... Imagine living in the Shire, or Rivendell, or Rohan. Not Gondor, not Gondor with that icky man before. But with Aragorn. I would live there. And then I got The Book of Gothel by Mary McMine, which I had heard lots about. And it's like a Rapunzel retelling, I think. And I thought, I want to give it a go. I've been wanting to give it a go for a while. But yeah. Then I found at this place called Codex, like Siren Sister or something, I found this one 12 Kings by Bradley. Bolio, however you say that last name, Bo Lear. I don't know. I don't know. But this one's like from 2012 or something ridiculous like that. Oh no, not that ridiculous. 2015. It's from 2015, so almost as ridiculous as 2012, but. Not so bad, not so bad. I'm very excited to read this book. I have never heard anything about this book. And I found it in the shop. And look at those glimmeries. It's very pretty. And I just wanted to try it. Then I caved. And because this one is signed. I got Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. Look how bright pink this is makes me look golden compared to this which if you don't know I'm very pink I think my skin tone is very pink next we'll move on to the special editions I think yeah we'll move on to the special editions of books that I've mostly already read well I've read Four out of the five books here, including this first one, which is oh, the Mina Lima, Harry Potter, and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So this is the third one. I've got the other two, and it's just full of different things. I haven't taken the paper out of it yet, though, so I'm not going to show you because I don't want to ruin it. That is a big fear of mine, ruining one of these beautiful books. But yeah. I love this world. The author has done some not great things, but I love this world. This world, like you. Then I got from Fairy Loot. Oh my goodness. The entire 
Luna Chronicles. The only one I've only read about, not even halfway, a third of the way through winter. But the rest I've read. So Cinder, Scarlet, oh no, Press Winter by Marissa Meyer. Maya? Maya. I don't know. Looks like Maya, but I think people say Maya. Any hoozles. Oh my goodness, nearly fell down. Then we have a book. These are no longer special editions. Then we have a book that I finished literally today and really, really enjoyed so much that I've already pre-ordered. Uh, pre I've already ordered the next two books in the series so that I can read them very soon. And that is Broken Bonds by J. Bree. I was really put off this book by the cover. Not going to lie, but then I read... The Crown of Oaths and Curses earlier this year by J. Bree and favourite book of the year, favourite book so far. I think it's going to take a real miracle to find a book that's better than that that's not a reread because I did read one that's probably better than that but it's a reread. Yeah. So I really enjoyed this, this was like a 4.5 star, maybe 4.75 if I did 0.25 and 0.75 ratings, but it's 4.5 star. And if you ever have trouble rating your books, like I sometimes do, I go through G from Book Rose core piling system, core pile system, and basically it's characters, atmosphere, writing, plot, logic, intrigue, and enjoyment. Those are the seven things you need to base your rating on, and then it calculates it all for you. And it has made, like, rating my books, figuring out, is it a 4 star, 4.5, or has it actually reached that 5 star level? So much easier to work out, now that I don't have to actually work it out myself. I just put in the numbers, and it works it out for me. Next, I've heard lots of good things about Ma High by Liz Tom Ford. It's sports romance, I think. Xander's and Stevie. Once and Stevie's and flight attendant, that's all I know. And I think it's sports. Sports! Anyways, Nanny for the Neighbours is next by Lily Gold. This is a wide choose romance between this the nanny and then I think these three guys who have a baby. One of them has a baby, but they don't know whose, so she looks after the baby for them. And it's a romance between all three of them. Oh, I should have mentioned, Broken Bonds is also wide choose, because she's got four or five bonds. Five. Five bonds. But she's destined to be cherished by and loved by. Though they're not really showing it at the moment. Anyways, next book I read, I read a while ago, I read it on my Kobo, is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lees. Love this novella. It's very teeny weeny. Look like teeny weeny. Anyways, little novella, Christmas novella that I think I might read again this year. So I really, really enjoyed it. It it's Chloe Lee, so it's got representation in here for different disabilities, different mental health things, different sexualities, all that. Something of that kind in here. I think she's on the spectrum. Anyways, they're working in the same bookstore and one of them has to go, so they're making a competition out of it. Whoever sells more books stays. That's what I remember from that book. Sorry, I'm not telling you many synopses. You can look up synopses if the cover intrigues you. I don't know. I don't know what some of these are about. Honestly, I've forgotten. Like, I knew when I ordered them and when I was thinking about getting them. But, like... Yeah, not so much anymore when I've got them all here and they've just been sitting in my cart for a while. I don't know. Then, one of my favourite authors... Je Julie Abe, I knew you said Jessica, I was like, why, where did Jessica get from? No, Julie Abe's Tessa Miata is no hero. This is 
uh, middle grade book. I love her Eva Evergreen series. She's got another book coming out soon. Have I ordered that yet? I don't know. Our Curse Love is coming out soon. <sighs> so many dusties flying around. But yes. If you enjoy oh, actually I don't I don't know how to compare that to anything because I've never read it before, but if you want to read the Ever Eva Evergreen one, if you enjoy Kiki's Delivery Service, it's like a better version of that in my opinion. Or better than the book anyways. Then I have the fourth book in the Small Spaces Quartet. Fourth and final book because each book goes with the season. This is the last one and it's Empty Smiles. I think this one must be Summer by Catherine Arden. Look how creepy this clown is. But I'm excited. I haven't read Dark Waters yet. But I think that's because Dead Voices really, you know, creeped me out. Scared me, honestly. Can you help me find my bones? That might not be the exact wording, but it's something creepily similar to that in the book. Anyways, let's go into lighter books rather than that spooky stuff. Because I am a scaredy cat and I will not be doing the horror movies, the horror books, thrillers, won't be doing those. I am a wuss. Anyways, Kiss and Don't Tell is next by Megan Quinn. I started listening to one of her audiobooks. Haven't finished it yet because I'm terrible at audiobooks. But this one looks so cute. It's a hockey romance. And yeah. Sports! Then I follow this person on YouTube. You should too if you enjoy book stuff, well, romance book stuff. And this is Take You Down by McKay Marie, or Oh Hey It's McKay over on YouTube, Instagram, that sort of stuff. And it's a rock star romance. I'm excited. That's all I really know about it, but start of a series. Then I have Water Under the Bridge by Kels and Denise Stone. This is like. Rivals to lovers, co-workers sort of thing, I think. And it should be a fun time. When I had TikTok, I followed Kelsey Stone on TikTok, but I don't do that anymore, so... Anywho. This one I'm excited about. Um, If you know my reading, you know that... I absolutely love, or loved, I haven't read it in a long time, but I still love it, The Darker Shade of Magic World. This is the follow-up series to that, and is The Fragile Threads of Power by V. E. Schwab. I don't know what it's about. I think it's following new characters, old characters, seven years after the previous series ended. And I'm so excited to jump back into this world. So excited. Finally, on this pile, we have Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. And I think it's about two people who start living together so that they can get custody over different people. Like I think it's her siblings, and I don't know who he's looking after, someone. Yeah, her baby sister. Um, and his brother. Baby sister, 15 year old brother. There you go. They're trying to get custody over those children, and so they have to live together because one has one thing that the other one needs, the other one has another thing the other one needs. Works together. Then, this one I've read, this one I haven't read yet, but I have given volumes. Two and Three by Natsuki Kizu. This is just like gay boys falling in love in a rock star romance. It's a fun time. Then, oh, I remember this book. I remember getting this book and then I forgot I got this book and now I have it and now I'm excited all over again. 
Now I have Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. Basically, it's like gamers and it's older people, like in their 40s, I think. Yeah, I think they're both in their 40s. No, one's 50, one's 48. So older ish people. Then this book I have also read. Look at me go buying books I've already read and loved. And this one's a dark romance called Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. This is very dark. Like, check your trigger warnings, dark. Like, yeah. Actually, no, that's what everyone says. It's dark, yes. Would I recommend it to everyone? No. Definitely check the trigger warnings. Did I really like it? Yes. Did I love it? No. But I really liked it enough to buy Lotus, which I think is in here somewhere. Yeah, I'll get that now. Since I mentioned it to get Lotus, which I think is connected story to Still Beating. But yeah, I'm not even going to mention what it's about because that is just... It's a bit not safe for work to say on the internet. But yes, definitely look at trigger warnings as I keep saying. Next is Sign of Affection Volume 6. Yes, by Sue Morishida. If you don't know, Sue Morishida is a writing duo or manga card duo. And I have been waiting, not so patiently, for this volume to come out, now that it's here, I can finally read it, read it, now that I've hold it, I can finally read it as well. So, this is about a deaf girl and a, well, she's a woman, and a man who go to university together and they are slowly falling in love, but she doesn't know if he'll stick around because he likes to travel a lot, and he's just kind of not thinking about that too much. Anyways, then also by Sue Morishida, I've got Like a Butterfly, which I got from by Madison Fox. I think that's her new channel name. I got the recommendation from her to try and read this. Like She does a whole bunch of manga recommendations, and that's where I got this from. Then I got book three in the Love Light Farm series, or Love Light series, but that's Mixed Signals by B.K. Borison. I love this world. I have loved the two previous books. I'm hoping to love Mixed Signals, which is Layla's one. Yeah, Layla's Romance with Caleb. Which, if you read the other two books, you'll see that it has been brewing a little bit, especially on his side. But yeah. Then I've got this beauty The Sun and the Void by, oh gosh, Gabriela Romero La Cruz. And the dog's going to bark now. Okay, last two books. Um, I don't remember what The Sun and the Void is about, but next is Her Radiant Curse by Elizabeth Lim. I have read one and a half of her books, and I am in love with the, this world that this is a prequel for, which is Six Crimson Cranes and a drag The Dragon's Promise. A Dragon's Promise? A Dragon's Promise, I think. Anyway, this is the prequel. This is her stepmother's book. And look how beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited for it. And then, this one I've been waiting for a very long time for. Like, I don't know when I read the first book in. And I'm sad that I had to get it in hardback because the other one's in paperback. But otherwise, I would have been waiting for a much longer time. And that's A Slate of Shadows by Cat Howard. Which follows an unkindness of magicians, which is like magicians in New York, and they have like a competition really about who's going to be the ruler of the magical community. And it's a really good book, but again, maybe tr check your trigger warnings from what I remember. Like, there's a lot of death and like blood magic and stuff in there. Anyways, I'm excited for this one. 
should be good. And that's it. That is my entire book haul for the past, what, like three months? That's pretty good for me. That is very good for me. So, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that jazz. And if you've gotten this far in the video, either comment a book stack emoji or tell me what are you going to be for Halloween. I went to my first Halloween party last night. I was a 70s hippie. Very cool, very cool indeed. And it was a lot of fun. Anyways, and I'm going to just for work do like this. The spiderwebs basically for work yeah so that would be fun all right see you next time bye bye